So I guess you are trying to figure out what happens with the expedition in these extraordinary times and uh, I have no idea but I've been in kind of uh, difficult situations before and I've always the only thing you can do is just continue and trust in what you are doing and hope that it will come to fru fruition so to say and uh, I had all these things I really wanted to say, but just getting out of Malmö, getting out of this situation, which is kind of heavy on your brain, it takes a bit of time to get out and out into the forest, into nature, which is such a revelation. And once you get here, you know, get the tent up, get the fire going, the girls are all running around here, happy. Let me tell me, this I've learned so far from this situation is you have to get back to your routines when things get difficult, no matter what it is, you know. I get up the same time in the morning, do the same things, even if I don't get the back, same feedback or economy or whatever, but I do the same thing. And uh, I think routines are, are, are very important. And then you have to be who you are, you know. Everybody says be positive. Yes, I'm positive, but you know, there's also research done. I know that a lot of those who survived Stalin's death camps, for example, it wasn't the most positive ones which survived. It was the ones who were most realistic, actually. Who, this is the situation, we deal with it, and we have to survive. And, and that is kind of my idea. Uh, I'm just realistic. And I'll, I'll, I do think we, we will get this under control soon. So my point is, be realistic. Accept who you are, you know. I'm a tired old geezer now, and I'm out here. But I'm still trying to say that I think the expedition is on and we are trying to find bicycles. So that's where we are now, out resting, enjoying life, realistic but happy.